Hello there and welcome to this video. We are going to talk today about REST Manager and why you should not install it on LSPDFR or if you have how to remove it because uh, REST Manager is a popular plugin and to be fair it is fab. Look at the reviews, 241 reviews, four and a half stars and very popular. It adds loads of extra features, you know, getting prisoners transported, the tow truck, insurance company, etc, etc. It has largely now been superseded and one of the main issues is um, it causes quite often this operation is not valid because the specified rage i spatial is invalid uh, error when you look in your rage plugin hook up, uh, logs and if you scroll right down we can see here there's some uh, plugins that are recommended to be removed from this person including a rest manager so we decided to have a look into why a rest manager should be removed. So I guess there's a couple of reasons here. So a REST manager, all the things that are included in a REST manager, um, you can now get using other plugins. So for example, if we are looking here, uh, Stop the Ped, which again, most people have installed, um, actually replaces plugins such as Smart Radio Traffic Police and a REST manager which is quite lucky because when we go back on the arrest manager page, if you look over to the file information, it's not been updated since 2019. So it's four or five years old now, and it's only compatible with older versions. This should probably be highlighted more, maybe a little bit of a banner on the top. Oh, <laughs> like this one where it says discontinued unsupported compatible with older LSPDR versions only. So, if we have a look, it was designed for 0.4.2, and obviously now we're on 0.4.9 on the REST Manager. And we can definitely confirm that having used this before, uh, having used this recently, it is causing a load of problems. It's cool, but if you've got Stop the Ped, you don't need it. In fact, if you do use Stop the Ped already, you'll notice at the beginning, and you can see it on some of our videos, that it pops up that there's conflicts because Stop the Ped is trying to do some of the same things as the REST Manager was, including... Um, prisoner transport, including tow trucks, car and stuff like that. So it can actually cause problems having multiple plugins doing the same job. And this developer, Albo1125, has now apparently uh, retired. If we have a look on the forum, so from you know a couple of years ago now, it says someone asked if his plugins don't work anymore. No, the author retired, so he'll never update his plugins anymore. To be fair, that's not necessarily obvious from his YouTube page because he's YouTube page is still up and running, but as you can see, he's not posted for a couple of years now. So about that time when that post was made. Um, and he used to make lots of cool plugins, clearly, that people wanted to have. So if we have a look on his homepage again, it's not that obvious that he's no longer supporting these tools, apart from on some of the actual plugin pages. But appreciate if you've had this installed for a while, you may not have actually realized that it's discontinued and unsupported now. So one of the things that we really need to do with this is we need to remove a REST manager if we've already got it installed. So what you'll need to do is go to your main Rockstar Games Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. Sorry, Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. It could be in Epic Games or Steam Games if you've installed it through those platforms. But it should be broadly in hard drive program files, Rockstar Grand Theft Auto 5. And then in here, you're gonna have, we're going to have to dive into some of these folders and remove the Albo files. So just in case you're not sure what they are, we're going to go through each of the files one by one. So in case you're not sure which of the files you need to remove, if we uh, guide you through it now one by one. So the files that we need to remove, the first one here is this albo1125.common file. Now if you've got other Albo plugins installed, obviously you should remove them as well. Could create some more videos for that. But uh, the important thing is, Rage Native UI, A, if you've replaced your version in this folder, you'll probably need to update to a later version because this one is pretty ancient now. If we have a look, it's the 2017 version there. So if it was the 2017, so we definitely don't want to replace that. But don't scroll down in here and find it and think, oh, I'll delete that. As you can see, we've got a newer one here. But Rage Native UI.dll, you do need for other plugins, so do not delete that. However, albo1125.common.dll, which is shared among some of Albo's old plugins, is there, and you do want to do, like, delete that. So that's the first one we're going to delete. Next, we're going to have to go into Plugins LSPDFR. So if we go in Plugins LSPDFR, you can see we've got an Arrest Manager folder. 
So essentially, everything we've got in the Arrest Manager folder needs to go, because that's the plugin we're removing. So we're just going to delete Arrest Manager there. Inside Vocal Dispatch, it's included a, an Arrest Manager file there. So we're going to delete just the Arrest Manager.xml file in there, delete that. And then finally, if we go back into the main LSPDFR Plugins folder, so if we expand that a second, we're in Program Files, Rockstar Games, Grand Theft Auto 5 Plugins, LSPDFR. What we need to do is delete Arrest Manager.dll and the Arrest Manager configuration settings. They're the last two files that we have to delete, so we're going to select them below and delete both of those. And then finally, back in the main Grand Theft Auto 5 folder again, what we're going to do is we're going to delete this albo1125.common folder, because we don't need that as well. Give it permission to delete that. And then if we go into LSPDFR, go into audio and go into scanner, you'll see there's a rest manager audio. You've got a lot of other files here, which are audio for other plugins. That's absolutely fine. But a rest manager audio, okay, these we can get rid of. So we want to delete the rest manager audio folder. And that's it. A rest manager has now been removed from Grand Theft Auto. So you are back to the main folder now. And then next time you launch... Grand Theft Auto 5, it should launch and there should be no issues with the rest manager. You can confirm by having a look in your logs when we go into here. So inside your logs, it will tell you where it loads different plugins. So if we search for a rest manager, we can see that a rest manager has been found there and it's loaded it as long with all the other plugins. What we can do then is check next time when another log's created and as if that line doesn't exist after you play the game next then you'll know that you've successfully removed a rest manager so hope that helps uh, if you do have any problems removing the rest manager any questions about a rest manager then do feel free to put them in the comments below and we will try to help uh, hope that helps reduce the number of crashes that you're having in grand theft auto so don't forget if you do have a rest manager install stop the ped instead get rid of a rest manager because it is broken with the latest version of lspdfr and gta 5 and um, and i uh, hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe for more lspdfr videos and we shall see you again shortly bye